And so Bailey's bluff seemed to have bounced number 11 onto a plane quite quickly. Good morning. Morning, Manus. Yes, this U-turn, the mother of all U-turns, seemed almost inevitable after markets yesterday priced it in. The pound and st uh, the pound and gilts rising on reports that corporation tax would be the next U-turn. Of course, as you say, it was a central plank of Truss's policy to boost UK growth, uh, but she said that she's not going to cut spending, so it leaves the only way out more U-turns on her tax-cutting plans. Quarteng rushing back from Washington, smacks of 2011 when the Greek finance minister had to come back from the G20 to deal with the sovereign debt crisis. Of course, Kwarteng shunning those, or his allies at least, shunning those comparisons. Uh, but for the Bank of England, it means that Andrew Bailey has played a blinder, really. He had staked his credibility on this deadline of today being the end for the emergency bond buying programme. Uh, if the market terminal continues, perhaps what we may see is a more creative targeted solution. That's what former BOE policymaker Martin Weil told me yesterday. Perhaps they'll give some assistance just to the pension funds that need it. Uh, but really, Kwarteng being reminded, as Mark Carney, the former BOE governor, put it yesterday, the markets will punish bad policy.